is perfectly central. No, bring it back towards the right. Will you make your mind up, dear? Oh, oh por favor, it's heavy. Mr O'Leary, does this look off-centre to you? We might be a bit low. Let go. What? See? Yeah. Ah! Oh! Oh, oh my no. goodness. Oh, it's my been knocked goodness. out. Basil? Basil? Mr. Basil? Fawlty. Basil? Mr. Fawlty. Oh. This is a bit oh. awkward, isn't it? Blame myself. Oh. And that was the incredible, <laughs> amazing cast of Faulty Towers, the play. Oh, the world's night. most chaotic hotel is swapping Torquay for the West End. It's been adapted for the stage by the original Baron Basil, of course, the great John Cleese, who's with us now. Uh, John? Welcome, welcome. So good to see you. It's lovely to be bet, back. Is, I've is, been on holiday. You where have you been, darling? I went to a Mallorca and it was wonderful. So I haven't seen these guys on stage for about three weeks. Oh, should we, should we bring yeah. some of them in? Yeah. Let's bring them in. We've got Paul Nicholas, who plays the major, and Adam Jackson Hi, Smith, Paul. who oh, plays yeah. Basil. <laughs> Adam. Great. <laughs> 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 and you must be James. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome oh, along, welcome. guys. Welcome. And thank you for being here all morning. It's been absolutely lovely. And thank you for such having a us. Treat. <laughs> John, last, <laughs> time, last time we saw you, this was a, I think this was about to launch, and you, yes, uh, you that's were right. kind of, you know, yeah. not nervous, but it, it Well, excited. I was very worried because the auditions have been so awful. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I was, <clears throat> you know, disappointed with the results. <laughs> you were you worried with the tools you're given. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> Somehow we fooled the critics because they're not very good, these guys. <laughs> That's not <laughs> true, though, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Adam, I'm sure... You didn't sure. say that last time. No, this is very different, yeah. Adam, <laughs> what's it like? I mean, it, what, what an iconic role for an actor to play. It must be wonderful. It is, it is wonderful. From the very first preview, we've had this incredible reaction yes, from the yes, audience. There's people yes. standing up, all four tiers. It's, it's been amazing. It's been really lovely seeing a whole audience laughing at something that they might have seen together with their families or, or yeah. their friends, but seeing them laugh with 700 other people There's something very special going on, because I think it's the fact that nowadays you don't go to the theatre that often and sit in an audience that is rocking with laughter. Yeah. And it's a wonderful experience, because when people leave the theatre, everyone's in a good mood, everyone's yeah. friendly and warm, you know? And watching the audience... I was sitting in my little box up there so <laughs> I could be quiet. Watching the audience rocking backwards and forwards. It was a wonderful feeling. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it must it's be incredible. a real pleasure to go in every night because of this reaction that we get. I mean, I've done plays where, you know, you get half-empty, you know, oh. theatres, and this is full and, as he says, rocking, and they laugh and they go out happy, which is what we're there to do. It must be lovely doing a show like that. And, obviously, Paul, uh, it's wonderful to have you back because... You was on this show the very first time with Richard and Judy. Yes, I had hair you then. <laughs> you had, you had hair, but you were the you were the first guest they ever had. Yes. Well, I, I had a bit of a success with a show called Just Good Friends. I love the way you underplayed that. And it was literally oh, the biggest show on television. It was huge. He's Just looking at me and saying, look what happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Look at you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I feel like running up and kissing the screen. <laughs> <laughs> You're still lovely and handsome. Oh, You're my still darling, gorgeous. Thank you. But, Paul, the Major's such a great character because he's one of those kind of perennials in Faulty Towers that you always... Like, he's always a scene-stealer, scene isn't he? He comes in and, you know, and played by Ballard Barkley, who, uh, you know, was... At the time. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, John was just saying you know, quite the heart's Well, he was a the... sort of matinee idol in the film. I didn't know that, yeah. was he? Yeah. Ah. Everyone thought he was, uh, you know, an exciting young man. Yeah. And then right at the end of his career, he had this extraordinary triumph, which is just, just lovely, you know. Well, I feel very much like him. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? 27. <laughs> <laughs> Paul is definitely the scene stealer as well. Yeah. No, no, no. God, come on. No, no, you no. definitely are. No, no. What a great role for that, though. It's marvellous. Yeah. And, and um, I'm very interested that... I didn't know this. You researched um, even the real-life inspiration for Basil, Donald Sinclair. Yeah. Tell us about Donald. Absolutely. So, well, this is the gentleman... I that. Donald deaf. Sinclair, the oh, original Oh, the original man. guy. So, did you go and meet him? Was well, just... Long gone, sadly. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Long gone. Long It'd be about... Yeah. 150 years old, I really? think. Really? Yeah. Well, it was extraordinary because, I mean, I remember still going into the lobby the first time and he was sitting at the desk, staring into the distance. <laughs> and he saw me coming, a guest, so he immediately pretended he was busy, turned his back <laughs> and started doing things. And I went up and stood at the desk waiting for him to... And he went on as though I was invisible. And then eventually I said... <clears throat> and he said, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> 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 care. And John, was that your like from that moment? Did you then go? No, okay, no, I've got no, it. No, it's a stranger. Uh, uh, sometime later, I uh, opened a health club, and the guy who was going to run it died after six weeks of <laughs> midwest service. And I had to earn a lot of money quickly to pay people off. Yeah. And I did six doctors in the house, mm. and one of them I set in the hotel. And Timothy Bateson played what who, the guy who became Basil. Mm -hmm. And the producer, as an old friend of mine, said, you, "There's a series in that." And I thought, typical. TV producer, of course, he was absolutely right, Humphrey <laughs> Barkley. Yeah. And eventually, about three years later, Jimmy Gilbert wanted me to do something because he knew I didn't want to do any more pythons. Mm. And I went back and sat down with Connie and yeah. I said, what are we going to do? And within 20 minutes, we said, let's do something in the hotel. And oh, did, yeah. you write, was it, did you write it quite quickly? Off the so, yeah, we read a pilot quite quickly and then it was read by the man who was in charge of giving opinions of comedy sketches, uh, shows, sitcoms, and he said it's, uh, this show is full of stereotypical characters and um, clichéd situations and I cannot see it being anything other than a disaster. And here we are now. <laughs> here we are now with the play. It's doing this so is well. Fairly typical of TV executives. Yeah. <laughs> they have no idea what they're doing. Adam, did you feel a bit of a pressure, the fact that John Cleese was gonna be looking over your shoulder watching you? A little bit, absolutely. Oh, I mean, I approached on. it as, as just like as a normal acting job yeah. as much as I could. But I think you'd be, yeah, I mean, you'd be silly not to feel awareness. that pressure. Obviously, yeah, with John in the room. But I mean, John has been incredibly yeah, but, generous all the way through. Yeah, but, I mean, when I saw him in, uh, truthfully in rehearsal, I just thought we are in luck. This guy knows. You said that last time you were here, and, yeah. And, and uh, he, 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 if I start giving him a note, he finishes what I'm saying. He's already ahead of me. He's with you. Yeah, he's on right. it. And there's probably more of a pressure from other people's expectation, I think, because obviously everyone remembers John as yeah. Basil. And um, you see, I'm a, I think of myself as a writer. I know people mm. don't think of it. If you write, you expect people to play them. Yeah. yeah. You see what I mean? So there's nothing strange about seeing him doing it. And it's one hell of a role. It's like Hamlet, isn't it, really? It just goes well, on. how he does eight a week. Yeah, unbelievable. Please. But he's young. He's great. <laughs> yeah, he's young. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a great physical no more. role, though, isn't it? It is. It's incredibly physical, yeah. And I get the pleasure of uh, running around in a cardigan <laughs> and a shirt. Really nice. He's a nice fit. Nice. 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 Really, the really toasty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are the others? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, introduce oh, us. Oh, introduce us. Oh, Have a seat, darling. No, I'm mince around the back. Oh, oh I love this. I'll come and perch next to you. Hello. Thank you so much. Oh, and hello. AJ, how are you? You rascal. He's such a rascal. I thought he's lost his mind. What's so incredible is it's been extended to next year, hasn't it? Yeah. People, agree, yeah. there's a real appetite for this, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, there hasn't been a show yet where there's been an empty seat. Mm. Isn't that extraordinary? There hasn't been one empty seat? There hasn't no. been one empty seat. But I've told this for everyone. That's, that's that cross-generational appeal to people. Yeah. Well, what's yeah. happening at the beginning, I was very happy, cos all the people in the audience were old. They're all 50, 60-year-olds. Well, they, I know they like me. But what happened is that one or two youngsters crept in, because mm. you know, the security people missed them, and as a result of that, they started telling their friends, and now we've got yeah. many more young people in the audience, right? We got, you hear yeah. children laughing. Yes, so yeah. like, yeah. you know, six-year-olds. <laughs> six-year-olds. <laughs> so cute. Um, which is amazing. That's yeah. so lovely, isn't yeah. it? Uh, tickets for John Cleese's Faulty Towers, the play, are available now. What theatre you want? The, the Apollo. Apollo. Oh, wonderful. The Apollo. The Apollo. Oh, lovely. Thank you for such a wonderful day, all of you. It's Thank been you. Thank you. Great. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you so much. They're a good lot. You need to put that clock back up, though. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We've got another hour, so feel free to.